Uh, well, as you can imagine, um, any victim, any woman who has to endure a sexual assault such as this um, has suffered a lot of trauma. And uh, so it's been a very difficult um, few weeks for her at this point. Um, it has been even more difficult uh, with some of the media coverage. And so there's going to be a, a long period of healing and counseling and, and medical treatment to get through this or well, my, my understanding is that uh, she was in contact uh, with the police right after the incident uh, and cooperated and, and indicated uh, everything that she could tell them at that time. There was a, a short period of time uh, right after she received some medical treatment where uh, the shock and the um, uh, just the uh, terror of the situation, I think, caused her to not want to speak to anyone. It wasn't just the police. It was just... Uh, perhaps just family or something that she couldn't do for a small period. Um, so I think that that information was a little bit overblown. So it wasn't like she was not wanting to cooper cooperate with the police. But since that point when she was in the hospital, she has been speaking with the detectives on a regular basis.